for their viewers. So, um, Sky and myself are emailing our Westinghouse um, drinking fountain. Be from probably from the early 80s to the mid 80s, this one. Right. There's a good old um, email Westinghouse compressor. I quite like those compressors. I have um, known a technician who's fixed Westinghouse fridges in the past from the 80s, and he reckons that these compressors are actually quite crap of all the Australian made compressors, so he's replaced many of them. I have um, first never come across a bad one. Made in Australia by email. Three legs on, not the four legs. Other, every other compressor's got the four legs mounting feet. This one has three mounting feet. Brings me fan and motor, all made in Australia. I've um, put a new thermostat on it. The thermostat went inside, right up through, and ended about here. So the old thermostat was completely buggered. I took it out. And actually, uh, this tube filled all with water, all the way into the bellows. That's not supposed to happen. So I had to drill it out, get poor the old uh, sensing tube out, and stuck in a new uh, uh, thermostat. So, as you can see, we've got a full charge of R12. Oh shit, my hands are getting stuck on that. <laughs> Frosting back. Full charge of R12. I see a bit cold here. It's just a bit too much more tar on here. Watch my fingers. The fan's doing a good job. Cooling down, look at that. Did that just cycle off? I think it did. No, it didn't. That's cold here too. Yeah, that's got a full charge of R12. Look at that, frost. Now, this um, original thermos that was sold at the end, they braised it in, but that's kind of thin and under pressure. I don't know if it laid temperature enough solder on me. So I just crimped it in and JB welded it. That should work just as well. well um, I don't, I don't, this is completely empty of water. And I put a vacuum um, on this, put a vacuum on here to try and pull the JB weld into that so it seals. As you can see, they're frosted up. There's no water in here to so make sure when you do this that's completely empty because you don't want to um, crack in this with expanding ice. It's a copper um, cylinder. We don't have the um, bottle filler. It an, wasn't on this one. It was an option. It wasn't, wasn't used. That's working very well. And turn it off. Look at that frost. Full charge of R12. Nice. Sit in a bloody um, packing shed for ages, never been used, sack collecting spider webs. So this is this has to work. I reckon I think I know what's wrong with this, so I had me on this for a while. And yeah, it was a bloody thermostat. Yep, full charge of R12. Can't beat a good old Australian made drinking fountain. The Tempright ones I had in the 70s had a big um, Kelvinator or GE built uh, air conditioning compressor in them. The Tempright ones. I want one of those ones. They're a nice checking fountain. Hard to find though. Those things are bulletproof. We really well made the old, old Tempright checking fountains. You see the um, Kelvinator used those compressors too though. Put it this high standing off the ground, something that's using the window air conditioner. It's a GE built compressor anyway. I know um, Aussie, the late great Aussie 50 did a tear down on one of them. Good compressors. AML Unlimited, commercial to equipment division. And Electrosucks, um, screwed a saver and sent manufacturer offshore to a third world uh, countries. It's a scum. R12 charge. Yeah, I don't know what the grams, they didn't punch in how much grams I put in. No, model CF30. They didn't, um, they didn't put any, what, how much they put in there. 350 watts, 2 bit 2 amps. Here we go. 250 grams of R12. Just read that. 
to text this instrument starting device on these compressors. There we are. You kind of still feel it boiling. All that frost. Let that JB weld set. See, there's two, uh, another tube there which is not used. There's a, a newer water cooler, so I think they have the, um, the tube that goes in, but it doesn't get inside the water itself, it's sealed at the other end, so the end's pinched off inside here. And the thermostat goes in, it just sits in there. But this is different, it's actually in the water itself, and it's sealed in the bottom. Someone's put concrete on it. But um, yeah, if I had to flush a bit of dirty water out of this thing. If you're going to get something like this, just make sure it's clean. You don't want to be drinking crap that whatever's in there, so... I don't think it's ever would have had a filter on it either. Plus it was on a raw property, so it would have had rainwater or something through it. Look at that. Oh, it's cold. Quality. Absolute quality. As I said, it's not as um, well made. It's a big temperate one. Which I said, I love a vintage temp, temp water cooler. Hard to find. I like what TAFE had them, and then I um, got rid of them about six years ago. I scrapped them and got Chinese heaps of shit. Bit of a shame. I've, um, their yeah, insulation's in good nick, so I just gotta probably take some of that from the sink, which is up here and fell apart, and stuff under there to re insulate it. Zip tied all together. And that'll be really um, repaired. Anyway, that's that JB weld set. Um, not much else I can really do now. The JB weld has to set. I've got to make sure it seals. And that throwing out. Good bearings. Quality fan. Anyway, been um, absolutely full of bloody spiders this thing. I've been off for now. Thanks for watching.